my academic career started off with my PhD at Linköping University. It was in industrial marketing, but the focus was on, on strategy and especially purchasing strategies in big uh, industrial companies. Uh, from that, uh, I well developed uh, a research program on uh, strategic change, uh, where we were about eight uh, young researchers. I, I was uh, one of the two oldest and I was 31 at that time. So really the spirit of, of young scholars and, and most of them were PhD students. And we developed an interesting research program where we got financing from uh, four different uh, research councils, uh, research foundations in Sweden. That was uh, not common for a person at the stage of my career. From that, uh, uh, I, together with others, developed a new research program, uh, what we call the Strategic Change Research Group. And that was running until I got the offer from Gips uh, to come here as the first professor in management. So what I had with me were uh, the experience of, of leading two major research programs and I also had the experience of, of supervising PhD students. So when I came here, my, uh, my view on uh, doing research here was not mainly focusing on what should I do myself, but what, what should we do as a group and, and the group that were about to emerge and grow here. Uh, and so that's my way of thinking about uh, good research. Uh, and uh, that was then the starting point for uh, uh, the Sophia Center that we identified an open window for doing fan business research. Uh, but in parallel to uh, starting doing fan business research, I, I was still active uh, first in a research program called uh, innovative forms of organizing to the, together with Andrew Pettigrew and uh, about 15 other researchers around Europe. Uh, and then from that, or I could say a spin-off from that was uh, that I, together with Richard Whittington, started to think about strategizing as uh, something that could be interesting to uh, change the strategy field from. So we started to think about micro-strategizing uh, together with Jerry Johnson and that became the starting point for uh, the strategist practice research field. Uh, and we published uh, one uh, special issue 2003 and uh, one book 2007 on strategist practice. And after that, this uh, field or subfield of strategy has been growing uh, tremendously. So that was an interesting journey. And also in the beginning of CFI or in the beginning of, of uh, the research I was involved in at Sofia, and especially a couple of the PhD students, uh, Annika Hall and Matthias Nordqvist, they used the strategist practice or micro strategizing perspective uh, in their research. Uh, so, and that is in line with my view that uh, good family business research uh, will come out from combination of family business perspective and uh, different theoretical perspectives. Uh, if I go back to the time when I came to GIPS, uh, 1994, uh, we uh, organized GIPS in three different sections and one of them called uh, Entrepreneurship Marketing and Management was something that uh, was emerging from our internal discussions about how to organize uh, business administration research. Uh, and I became the first chairman of that section. I, I was chairing that section or department up till 2000. In 2000, I wanted to focus on research and we had these ideas about maybe start a center on, on family business research. But uh, the dean was recruited to Stockholm School of Economics and I was persuaded by the chairman of the board to go in as an interim dean. That took away like a year and a half from my effort to start the center. And that maybe is the reason why it took till 2005 before we started the center. Uh, part of my work has all, all the time been focusing on uh, recruiting and uh, fostering growth of PhD students. And uh, 
<clears throat> totally in my career, I've been supervising, I think now it's 35, and among them about 25 as, as the main supervisor, and the others as a deputy supervisor. And that's, I think, what is the most nice thing of, of this work. Characterizing uh, my research career, I think, is about internationalization. Uh, internationalize myself. Uh, in 1984, I went to Toronto for a year uh, as a visiting research scholar to be in North America to start to understand what are the mechanisms for publishing, what are the mechanisms for going to academic management and all that. And that was not common at that time. Uh, so when I came back, uh, I knew the rules of the game to become an international scholar. And, and that was like important for me to start publishing um, only in English. Uh, and I've been active on the international arena. I've been active in different conferences. I was uh, uh, a founding member of the Strategic Management Society and, and the SMS conference. I was uh, uh, from the second conference for EGOS. I was um, a participant almost every year for about 10, 15 years. Uh, I was an interim group for URAM when uh, the URAM was shaped uh, around 2000. Uh, and in parallel to that, I've also been active in, in editorial boards of journals. So I've been in the editorial board for, I think, 12 different international. Uh, coming with uh, my international activities uh, in research uh, in different fields, uh, I've also been in different editorial boards. So I think I've been 12 editorial boards over time since the first was I think strategic management journal where I came into the board uh, I think 1990 uh, after I had been sharing the international SMS conference in Stockholm uh, and then I've been in the tour board of organization studies and recently I've been also and actually yeah I've been in a tour board of family business research now I'm in the advisory board uh, and I'm still also in the editorial board of Journal of Family Business Strategy. So, so uh, when I handed over the responsibility for CFE in 2012 to Matthias Nopil, uh, I think it was uh, walking the talk, meaning that it was a good succession. Uh, as we have been studying succession in family businesses, we thought that maybe it should be an incremental process that takes some time. And I think the solution was excellent. Uh, recently added by uh, the co-director, Francesco Firco, as well. And um, uh, now I am working, uh, I've paid about half time from Yips to continue doing research and supervising the remaining PhD students that I've been responsible for. Uh, it's still uh, four PhD students that uh, I'm working with uh, and I'm doing research with uh, many colleagues at CFEO, hopefully publishing articles uh, in the coming years. Uh, so even if it's a slow process of retirement, I don't see an end for it. I will continue to work as long as it's fun and, and people think I'm useful. If I would give some advice to uh, PhD students and young research scholars that want to do fan business research, uh, I think uh, I would emphasize uh, being relevant. And being relevant could be done by f combining uh, not only quantitative studies, but also doing qualitative studies, because then you are in contact with the family businesses. But if not, I think it's important to interact with family business, the fan business community uh, in other ways, uh, to get this connection to the way of thinking and talking in family businesses when you, I think the relevance of research problems will increase with that sort of interaction. Uh, as important is that you focus on theory, meaning that you, of course, can do contribution to the family business field, but that you have the ambition also to give a contribution to another field to org studies field, to strategy field, to accounting field, whatever. Uh, and I think to do that uh, means that you have to formulate your research problem in a way that uh, become 
competitive in terms of output and findings and so on. Uh, then I think that you, I would also, sorry, uh, I would also advise uh, young scholars to uh, work in groups, to do collaborative work. I think that is important. Uh, today, of course, you see uh, papers with four, five, six authors, uh, and that means collaboration. But I think also that we need to collaborate in deeper ways in uh, in developing research problems, in like mentoring each other. And uh, uh, I think it's a possibility for young scholars also to form themselves in group and they have a possibility also to apply for their own research money in an early stage of the career, not waiting for professors to give them money and um, research tasks. Uh, I would also emphasize, of course, uh, going to different types of conferences, not only family business conferences, but other types of conferences in different fields uh, to, uh, to broaden the network of researchers uh, that you interact with in your research. And finally, uh, to do research in a way that you have found.